So in this demonstration, I'll give you an overview of SciGen Site Capture's integration with SharePoint 2010 when it comes to managed metadata columns and uh, term stores and terms. So not only do we have the ability to read terms um, and, and present them to the users so that they can actually select them manually during the indexing process, we have the ability to auto-populate the term store with new terms. Okay, so instead of having to go into SharePoint, custom build your, your term stores and term sets, we'll actually collect them from the document and auto build them on the fly as we migrate documents into the system. And they'll then be available for other users to access. So over time, you can build up a term store uh, dynamically and automatically, okay, which is a huge time saver for those of you who, who have uh, gone through the, uh, the, the time to build um, an entire term store and term structure. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll kick off the capture process and the first step I'm going to do is actually show you uh, how we can auto build that term store uh, through the, the different functions <clears throat> within Site Capture. So in this particular demo I'm going to go ahead and bring in some expense reports that I have and we'll do some neat things with Site Capture. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and split the 2D barcode, automatically uh, collect information and then uh, we'll move on to indexing and within this uh, within this interface what I want to show you is that not only have we collected information from the barcode we've auto built a custom metadata field now in site capture a custom field uh, is a feature that gives you the ability to auto build a field from other fields so what I've done with this expense report I've actually pulled selected fields and auto built a metadata field and this metadata field will be uh, what we use to, to auto populate um, a managed metadata column within our expense report library um, in SharePoint but we'll also auto populate the term store as well so now we've got data about this document that's been auto extracted and then auto populated into a field a column as well as the term store in SharePoint. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to tab through these, show you how we auto build that metadata field. Um, we'll do OCR, and then we'll migrate to SharePoint. So we're doing some other neat things here. I'm also going to show you the dynamic routing functionality of SciGen Site Capture that'll use uh, those fields to auto route into my accounting site my expense reports library and then I'll automatically build a sales folder for all these expense reports because they're folks that are from the sales department. Okay, You can see that I've got my term store um, interface open in SharePoint. You can see that that metadata um, term store is blank to begin with and as I do my migration you can see now that it's got terms okay and I auto build that uh, uh, that structure so let's go ahead and go to the accounting site we'll go to the expense reports library you'll see that it's uh, it's routed to the correct site library as well as folder and then we've got a folder that's been automatically built for each of the employee ID IDs and we've custom named the file and you'll notice that I've got a managed metadata column now I've got multiple terms that have been posted into that managed metadata column and also added to the term store and those are assigned permanently to that document. Okay, So now you've got all the features, functionality and flexibility that the term store and term set uh, gives you the capability to, to, to do within SharePoint 2010 and it's all been auto built by SciGen Site Capture. Okay, so now that we've got those terms within the term store, let's go ahead and show you the lookup functionality in, in Site Capture. Okay, so that was an auto population where we actually built the term store. Now let's go ahead and look at uh, what we can do now that we have that information in the system. Let's just bring in one of those. one of those expense reports. You can see now that the metadata field isn't populated automatically. 
but now you can see I've got my lookup capability and I've actually linked it to the term store within SharePoint okay so now I can uh, I can tag this as a uh, an expense report and this will get automatically migrated with this actual expense report as it goes into SharePoint okay so that's an overview of our manage metadata and term store functionality uh, within SharePoint 2010 if you have any questions send an email to sales at sygen.com or you can call us at 949-916-7700, extension 230. Thanks.